Yeah. So. And funny enough, I find the Hellcat, uh, the Challenger one's a bit more, they're lighter than the other ones. Like, yeah. those guys give me a little bit of a harder race. Yeah. Like, the bigger, heavier ones, they're yeah, not. Like, style, you know? Yeah. So. It's still amazing. And I love these cars. <laughs> I know. So yours is the uh, black one, right? Yeah, I have V6, but I got a 2017 and Camaro at that instead of this one. <laughs> yeah. a little bit better. You still beat the fuck out of me, though. <laughs> <laughs> SG. About to head back in Torito. I'll see you guys in a second. I hope you guys enjoyed that 700 horsepower Pontiac G8. A one badass G8 holding Commodore with fucking just stupid ass power and just sounds amazing. Like it literally just screams. I have never seen a G8 that fast or that loud and it was just awesome seeing that. Yeah, this one local guy in the G8 group on Facebook needed a side view mirror and I had a red one in stock at my auto parts shop that I work at. So I had him come down, check out his whip, check out his G8. And for those of you who don't know, I actually have a G8 myself as my daily driver, one of my first cars I actually got for myself. So I thought today I would finally introduce my G8, go over it, and what it has and everything like that. And one thing that I have to let you guys know is my G8 is not a V8, not a GT, not a GXP, no Firehawk, nothing like that. It is a V6 base model. But it's one of the first cars I actually got for myself. Wasn't really too into V8. I mean, I was, but I didn't want to jump into it, especially being a little young. I wanted to save some money. So I just got the base as a first car, you know, as a first base model. Yeah, but even though it is a V6, I do have some mods done to it, which include like a cold air intake, exhaust setup, full tune, stuff like that, which I'll get into in a little bit. But overall, it was honestly a badass car for my first actual car. This car actually made me get into cars and actually like fall in love with cars and everything like that. Start mining them and really getting into them and stuff like that. Before I let you guys see it though, she is filthy as fuck, so let me clean her up a little bit because she's literally filthy. <laughs> So this right here is my Pontiac G8 base model. It is a V6, but I got it tuned out. Got a cold air intake on it from Rotofab. Got some Magnafold axle backs, which are the mufflers. And got some lighting mods also on the exterior. As you guys can see, got full LED lights all the way around. Got some custom hood scoop LEDs. Pretty sweet though. Got the Camaro 20 inch rims, which are pretty common on the G8s if you know about them. Got the chrome style. And right here, I got the GT tail lights. On the regular base model G, it should come just plain red. I want to make it look a little better, so I got the GT ones. Got the Magnafold quad tip exhaust. And this is a V6, but actually sounds pretty nice for a V6. Not no raspy bullshit like as usual. Let's see how she sounds though. I did used to have a badass splitter on the front of the car, making it look way more aggressive and just more sporty. But this car has been through hell and back, put about 70,000 miles on it. And one day I was just cruising with my girl, was trying to go around somebody, try to pass them actually. And the lane was cutting off, so I tried to get over real quick and the person would not let me. So I hit the curb a little bit and it caught my splitter and just ripped it off. It kind of fucked up the bumper a little bit too. It kills me, but just look at this bullshit right here. Get some paint flake off. And for those of you that know about my Camaro, about that one getting hit about four days after I bought it, literally 24 hours after that happened, I went outside to my G8 to go inside of it, and literally out of nowhere, just saw this right here. And I found that somebody hit me when I was parked in front of my house, just out of nowhere, just from backing up, literally the day after my Camaro got hit. And stuff like that. 
But the guy that hit it was nice enough to leave a note. He did pay for it, so I'm gonna get this fixed up soon and let you guys know about it. Let's see what this baby's got under the hood, though. Look at that monster right there. Ooh. This right here is a 3.6 V6 LY7. Made by GM or Holden, if you know about them, over in Australia. It's a regular 2 V6, got the Roto Fab right here. Give him a little more power, a little more throttle response. Nothing too crazy though, nothing too special. It's nice for a little V6. This car came with about 256 horsepower stock from the factory. But with the tune and everything, exhaust and all the mods and stuff like that, probably pushes around 280, about 300. And the interior on this one is nothing too special, just some black leather interior, kind of more sporty. Do have some custom red interior lighting on the bottom though. Nothing too crazy though. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe for more. I got a lot more content coming for you guys about the G8, about the Camaro and other cars and stuff like that. Please stay tuned for more. See you next time.